Open source DJ software Mix now updates to version 2.2, Spotify now gives artists more control over their music, and Reloop is back with a sequel to one of its coolest products. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. The open source DJ software Mix has been one of the coolest pieces of software in development in the DJ world for some time now. Not only does it allow access for people that don't have too much money to go ahead and get into DJing by offering a free product to go ahead and DJ with, but also since it's open source, it's created by the community for the community. This new version offers some really cool updates. The biggest one now being the GUI being able to scale depending on what kind of display you have. So if you have a normal display, something like an older MacBook or a newer MacBook with a Retina display or a Windows computer with a 4K display, now that GUI will go ahead and scale up and down so you can get the best viewing experience depending on the display on your device. Secondly, they've added some pretty cool new effects to give even more flexibility and more feature set to this already free software. And finally, which is just as important as the GUI scaling has to be that they've announced that the cycles of development are now going to be shorter so you'll be seeing more updates more often. Now like I mentioned before, if you're interested in getting into DJing but you know you don't have a lot of money for software or even hardware for that matter, Mix might be just the ticket for you or if you're looking for something else and you just want to kind of dabble in another piece of software, Mix is a great option as well. Spotify looks like it's aiming to change the game once again in the music streaming business. Now they have just announced that they are going to start allowing artists to directly upload music to Spotify. Now this has the potential to send shockwaves through the music industry as Spotify moves from being a music streaming service dealing directly with record labels as well as third party companies that upload music for artists to being more kind of like SoundCloud where users can now directly upload their audio to the streaming platform. But for now, this service is just invite only, but it looks like Spotify is planning to open this up to more artists as time goes on. And it's really exciting to see because I'm really curious how the music industry is going to take to this change, Spotify being one of the biggest online music streaming platforms and now kind of cutting the record business out of it and dealing directly with artists. This has the potential to not only make Spotify more money, but artists as well. Reloop recently announced a sequel to one of its coolest products that it released in 2013, and that had to be the Reloop Tape. Now they're back with the Reloop Tape 2 with some much needed upgrades and modernizations to this already cool product. Now previously, people had issues with the way you would connect the tape. It was a little bit more complicated than it needed to be, whereas you had other devices that didn't look as cool as the tape, but it was just literally plug and play. You didn't have to worry about power or anything like that. It could record straight to it and offered that kind of you know, flexibility as well as simplicity for recording a mix from you know, a DJ setup to an external recorder. But Reloop looks like they've taken the feedback from users as well as just taken advantage of all the different changes in technology over the last couple of years and have really improved tape for this new version, the Tape 2. First and foremost, now tape has a lithium ion rechargeable battery that they say lasts up to six hours. Now, if you're gonna be teaching longer than six hours, it does also have a micro USB plug on the side so you can plug this in directly into power using something like an iPhone charging brick or anything like that. There's plenty of micro USB charging devices out there, so I'm sure everybody has at least one. Secondly, the Tape 2 now uses micro SD cards, which is not only readily available almost anywhere, but is also a really cheap storage medium as well. Now these changes, along with Tape keeping its really cool and unique design, as well as the price staying roughly about the same, really make this device a lot more appealing to a lot of DJs out there, and I don't blame them. Now if you're in the market for an external recorder for your DJ sets, and you want something that looks as cool as it is functional, definitely take a look at the Reloop Tape 2. So that's it for the news this week. So question of the day, how do you record your DJ sets? Go and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.